Welcome everybody to Attorney Audits Agitators or the Common Sense Academy. Today we are going to watch part two of our staff wielding sorcerer sovereign citizen. This time he's going to serve a notice of liability on a police station. It just keeps getting better. Thank you for tuning into the Common Sense Academy. I am your host, Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, check out my other channel called Joe the Lawyer. The link is in the description below. Go ahead, click on it, subscribe, watch a couple of videos. If you like it, stick around. Now, before we get to the video, I know the real reason most of you came here. Yes, it's the same time sip. I have my classic beverage, Diet Coke. Raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. Cheers. <sighs> Sovereign Sorcerer coming right up. We are at the Kauai Police Department. I'm about to uh, attempt to meet with Police Chief uh, Todd G. Raybuck. Um, if not, whoever the officer on duty is. This is a follow-up from our delivery of a notice of liability of trespass of our inalienable rights and trespass of our medical rights um, that we serve the mayor. This is to notify the police that uh, the mayor has been served. He's aware of our concerns with liability, uh, trespass of our rights, and we know that the police follow orders and maybe are not acting of their own volition, but we are also here to serve them, to let them know they too will be held individually accountable in their individual capacity or in their official capacity. So we're here in peaceful intention. This is all about uh, honest communication and letting them know that we the people are the government and we the people do not cause harm. Um, we just want to make sure that our rights are protected like every other citizen's rights are protected. And our rights are protected under the 1776 Declaration of Independence, the unincorporated United States Constitution of the Republic, uh, the 1839 Declaration of the Rights of the People, of the Hawaiian Kingdom, the 1852 Constitution of the Kingdom as well, and uh, here we are. So we're going to go see the police chief right now. to see it's a service a liability service so they're aware of it uh, so they're not surprised by any, anything we're trying to give them a heads up okay no, trespass of our inalienable rights and the great endorsed by God, as well as a medical trespass, liability trespass, with our medical inalienable rights as well. Okay. The reason I'm here is because your office is doing their due diligence, follow the orders of the mayor and the governor, unless you're acting in your own volition. Where we have had some uh, gatherings, if you would, Protests in the streets in front of the county building okay. where officers were going to cite us in service. Um, so we have an event tomorrow, we'll have future ones. So this is a notice that what we're saying is we're serving you 
we are not in compliance with the agreement with these proclamation codes and mandates. Okay. Okay. We are in a peaceful way, if, if for any reason the officers are service with citations, then the officers themselves and the mayor will be cited. Okay, so we'll turn the service into just citing because we're peaceful people. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that we just want honest, honest communication and honest dialogue. And if the police, and I know most of them, are not acting of their own volition, because not everybody agrees with what's taking place. Has, it, just like here, has anybody been cited? Yep. We're on Big Island. We have public air quality. Not yet. Okay. Then nobody, nobody has. has. We're, yeah. just, we're just making it known. Okay, I'm just curious. If you are yeah. cited, then we in turn will cite you. Okay. Because you're, we the people are really the government. You work for all people. You okay. don't work for a faction of people. You're so, correct. Yeah. So we just want to give you a heads up. Because we're patriots. We believe in our God given rights. That's how the foundation of our country is a declaration of independence okay. that guarantees our rights to life, liberty, property, and pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's also covered by the unincorporated United States Constitution of the Republic, which, which protects those rights, but the declaration is the driving document. As far as when people transition into kingdom law, under their laws, under the 1839 Declaration of Rights of King Kamehameha III, we also have protected unalienable rights. And they're also protected by the 1852 Constitution of the Hawaiian Kingdom. So we're in compliance with the governance as we see it. I operate, we the people operate under a higher authority. Mm -hmm. And we, we try to live in honor and respect of others, but we're not going to give our unalienable rights up to anyone. Okay, that's not for sure. Okay. So we just wanted to, this was for the captain, uh, for the chief. Okay. Uh, but like you said, all everyone would be held accountable on an individual basis as well as in their official capacity. Okay. So if you're not in alignment with the mayor, then the mayor would be, if he enforced it, would be the problem. Okay. So all you, four just so the chair officers said they were coerced to do something, and you understand that. Okay. It's where we can act on, on our violations. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay. All right. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Look, as an attorney who has his own law office, if this guy, I mean, police see some of the most hilarious shit, okay? If this guy walked into my law office with a staff like the sorcerer staff, I mean, it looked to me like it had a troll, like one of those little troll dolls on the head. Where did he get this thing? Where did he get this thing? He tells us at the beginning that it's a follow-up of a delivery of notice of liability of trespass of inalienable rights. Trying to decipher the nonsense, I believe that him and he had a little buddy this time. Did you see that? He had a follower, also not wearing a mask. It sounded to me like him and his kingdom of Hawaii were um, having an event and they were cited, or at least there was a threat a threat of a citation if they didn't wear masks. They're obviously anti-maskers here. I believe that's what we're seeing. I guess if you're from the kingdom of Hawaii, you are uh, you are um, immune to COVID. So he says he's going to hold the police liable. Um, <laughs> the other thing I put in my notes is there's nothing more gangster than a staff and a Hawaiian <laughs> shirt. <laughs> I'm here to serve the police. Like, dude, in the prior video, which I also linked to below, he had a whole sorcerer's outfit on. He looks so much cooler. We know he's a sovereign citizen right away. He's, he's, he's referencing the 1776 Declaration of Independence, the 1839 Hawaiian Kingdom Declaration. So this guy, I've seen in other videos, he calls himself an indigenous Pacific Islander. Dude. You are, you are, he's probably Irish, <laughs> okay? He's probably German. I mean, come on, man. Come on. Look how white you are. Like, you are not a Pacific Islander. You're not an indigenous Hawaiian, all right? Walk around with this ridiculous staff. 
Um, you know, the guy who's following around is another old white guy, too, with no mask on. Um, he says peaceful people. He's a, they're peaceful people. But why does he have a witch's staff? Why are you walking around with a, with a sorcerer's staff? Who do you need to place a spell on? He must be uh, the lord of the kingdom. You know, his kingdom of three or four. Obviously, there's more than one. Um, during this whole video, we heard a bird cocking. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, the officer was um, very courteous and just went along with the whole thing. That's the best way to deal with something like this. He's serving papers. He could have just served him at the window. But no, he wanted to give a speech. He wanted to have it on video. He referenced kingdom law. He So this guy's literally in his own little sovereign citizen universe, which is pretty cool. Maybe it's something I need to research and put in my next book. It's nonsense. FYI, the Declaration of Independence is not law in the United States. So thank you for tuning in to the Common Sense Academy. Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. If you like my content, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Also, sign up for my other channel, Joe the Lawyer. And oh yeah, I wrote a book on sovereign citizens. All the links are in the description below. Thank you for tuning in. Joe out.